Hello, and welcome back to a page-by-page -page review of Doom with Frank Herbert. Today, page 359. Page 359 of Doom begins with uh, an italic italicized thought by Jessica. The word, gently. What a fantastic way to start a page. Uh, with a thought by a character uh, not really not really engaging in the conversation because she is letting Paul assume the mantle of leader, as you can see. And there's a lot to be told in just that one word, gently. Jessica still considers herself Paul's mother, his mentor, his teacher in some aspects, um, and it would be impossible for her not to uh, think these thoughts or extricate herself from this, uh, this kind of situation. Um, Kynes begins to have a look of admiration in his eyes for Paul. Uh, Paul uh, asks if he asks if the, uh, more about the legend of Lisa al Gaib, uh, the voice from the outer worlds, uh, kind of their Christ figure of sorts, to the Fremen people, and Kynes dismisses it as superstition, even though you can see him start to go along with this, uh, and he uh, even at one point tells Paul that, he has a pl that Paul has a plan, he knows that he has a plan, dot dot dot, sire. You can see him start to interject bitterly this title. It's, a, it's italicized, but this is a spoken word. Uh, another variation of the italicized moments here in Dune, we love those. And then um, Paul talks about getting proof that the Sardaukar were put in Harkonnen uniforms so that he can present this eventually in front of the Landstrad, uh, which would imply the ruling nobles all banding together to overthrow the Emperor Padishah. And just goes, Paul. And then we have the sentence granted that the Landstrad High Council accepts, and I assume it's going to be Paul's body of evidence, but that's all the time we have today for page 359 of Dune by Frank Herbert. Keep reading.